would like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth. We're here with J. Howard Henderson, the Executive Director of the Greater Baltimore Urban League. How are you, sir? How are you doing today, Donnie? Good. A tragic, but yet um, th there's still a lot of uh, brightness in this. I mean, Raymond V. Haysbert Sr., some 90 years, much of which went to serving the community. Here was a a man, an icon, a dean of business in the state of Maryland who easily could have played with the big boys, but it was nothing to see him at the Avenue Market or here on Orchard Street at the Greater Baltimore Urban League. Your thoughts, he was your board chair. He was my board chair, Donnie, for 10 years. It certainly was a very sad occasion, the loss of Raymond V. Haysburg to, to our community, not only just to Baltimore, but to the state of Maryland, also to the nation. Uh, Ray's impact went way beyond Baltimore. As you know, he was one of the leading African-American businessmen in the early 80s and, and 90s and continued to be a strong supporter of African-American businessmen as they developed their businesses throughout the state. So he was a mentor to a lot of folks in business. I met Ray early on when I first moved to Baltimore when I was with the National NAACP as Ben Hook's chief of staff. Uh, I had the lead of working with Ray as he and Ben Hooks were both being honored by, you may notice Jim uh, Berman Walsh and his little group, Project, uh, it was a youth basketball group that they were, they were honoring, Project Survival I think it was, and they were honoring Ray and, uh, and Ben Hooks and, and Ray, uh, had, he had Kathy uh, Pugh at the time providing the lead for him and I was providing the lead for Ben Hooks on that project. That's when I really got to know Ray as a man. I understood that he, he had a great love not only for his business sense, but he had a great love for the community and Baltimore as a whole. He really loved his community and particularly the African American community. He was a man who was able, as you know, to transcend both both parts of the community, both the, the African American community. and the streets. Oh yeah, he could do it all. He he was there, you know, as some, one of the leading um, members of major boards in the city. So he played the role. And when I asked him to come in to help revitalize and the renaissance of the Urban League back in 2000, I never forget what Ray said to me, Howard. Well, how long, you know? And I said, Well, Ray, not long, but long enough. And he, he always tells the story that I asked him for a one-night affair, and it was a lifetime affair. And it certainly was. It was a pleasure working with Mr. Haysburg because, as I said earlier, I only had uh, three mentors in my life, and that was uh, uh, Leon Sullivan. As a lot of folks don't know, maybe not know who Leon, Leon Sullivan, Sullivan out of Philadelphia. Out of Philadelphia. He had the, the, the OICs Indus of America. Yeah, and across and, America, and, and he did work in Africa. Right, he, he, he was the author of the Sullivan Plan. He broke down the... the, the, the the, 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 the strong ties of racism in, in South Africa. He was the man who was responsible for breaking that down to the corporate structure. Leon H. Sullivan. That's right. You got it. The Reverend. Right. And my other person was, was Benjamin Lawson Hooks, who passed away recently. Uh, he was the head of the NAACP for a number of years. When I, as I said, I was his chief of staff and also was the first African-American on the FCC. He was the first African-American judge in the Old South. So a lot of firsts, Ray was one of those individuals that, that fits right in with that group. He was one of the, he was a lot of firsts in Baltimore and also in the state of Maryland. Certainly the question now becomes, what would he have us do? Well, n no question, Donnie. Uh, he would ask us now, who's going who's gonna to pick up the mantle and run with it? I think he has left, his legacy will speak for itself. He has left a strong ties of African-American young businessmen who are now starting off, some are doing rather well in businesses. I think he, they have to understand that Ray was not only a businessman, but he had a compassion for giving back to his community. So he, he honestly believed in, he honestly believed in, and that what one, as I said earlier at his, at his uh, funeral the other day, that what one does for oneself dies with them and what one does for others is immortal. He, he practiced that. He believed that he would, what he would do for others would last forever. So that's going to be the legacy behind He left a lot of young people who have been touched by his life, and they will carry that mantle. And we look forward to them stepping up to the plate now and picking it up and running in all kinds of different directions, but never forgetting to give back to their beloved community. Good deal. The incomparable J. Howard Henderson. Your website is www.bul.org.
and the number is 410-523-8150. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you, Donnie, for having me. Yes, sir. And keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.